Hey folks, Carlos here with some Roll20 tips. Today we're going over rings, zoom, and panning. Let's get started. Rings. If you'd like to show a location, or maybe you want to clarify an area you're talking about, hold down the left button on your mouse and a ring will appear to all players. If you want to change the color of the ring, go to the bottom left-hand corner next to your screen name, click the colored box, and change the color to whatever you prefer. If you're a GM and you want your players to follow your view, hold down the shift button and your left mouse button. This will move your player's view on the map to wherever you select. Zoom. The top right-hand corner of your board has a zoom slider. Pull the slider down to zoom out or push the slider up to zoom in. If you want to reset the zoom to the original size, simply double-click the zoom bar and the view will reset to 100%. The pan tool. If we go to the top right-hand corner of the toolbar, hover over the select move arrow, we can select the pan tool, which looks like a hand. We can now move the map around by holding the left mouse button. This is a good alternative to using the scroll bars on the corner of your screen. If you need to use the pan tool, but you have the select move tool selected, simply hold down the right button on your mouse and it acts as the pan tool. Okay, that just about does it for ring, zoom, and panning. My name's Carlos, and this has been Roll20 Tips.